this is my play's last scene by John Donne is uh, one of his poems in the Holy Sonnets um, and obviously it's Holy Sonnet number six. Um, these sonnets are Petrarchan sonnets and we know that they a sonnet is a 14 line poem um, that is divided into an octave of eight lines and a sestet of, of six lines. And within that sestet there is a uh, generally a rhyming couplet at the end and we know that the first word or phrase of the um, line number nine is called the volta and that's generally we see a shift in tone so we normally have an aggressive or confrontational sort of tone um, a mocking tone that type of thing and then there's a more submissive and calmer sort of tone in the the sestet um, so the conceit um, of this poem is that life is like a play and that John Donne because he's he's a fearing that he's about to die that he's in his final scene so this is my play's last scene and so this is an intellectual puzzle um, in which Donne establishes that at the beginning and then he works his way through um, to come to some sort of understanding um, the voice the, the all of his poems have a dramatic voice and in this one there is a very melodramatic tone and this reinforces his insecurities it's expressing and voicing his insecurities about um, about his ensuing death because um, you know the Renaissance era was challenging all of the um, the tenets of the Christian faith and and um, we know that his poems are metaphysical they're trying to answer questions that are unanswerable so what happens after I die is there a God those sort of things and um, so we see that he's very um, everything's over dramatized in the beginning of the poem in the octave we um, he uses a lot of hyperbole he exaggerates you know to, to show his his real concern he's in his pilgrimages last mile and he says so you know he's been on this life pilgrimage and he's nearly there he's in the last mile of that and he, he's um, on the pilgrimage I suppose his race his life has idly yet quickly run so it's quite paradoxical that looking back on the life his life seems like it's gone in a flash um, but at the same time it's, it's been such a long time he talks about being my span's last inch, that you know, that last little um, section of that hand span, and my minute's latest point. So, you know, it's the last second of the minute, and he's in that final moment, is what he's he's attempting for us to get, and it, you know, it's pretty obvious to us by that point. Okay, um, death is personified as gluttonous death, and he does that to reinforce that notion of his fear. He's worried that when he dies, gut, gluttonous death will instantly unjoin, he will tear him in half so his body and soul will be torn in two and, um, and, and you know, the, the notion is that the, body, the, the, physical, um, the physical body will return to the earth and the, the soul will um, head to the sky, to the heavens to, uh, to receive judgment and this is Dunn's concern that God shakes my every joint. He's, he's afraid to look God in the face because he is concerned about his own sin, um, you know. And this is this is over overdrawn as well because and we know that he's um, a member of the clergy and um, you know and has a strong Christian faith, um, you know. So he is really concerned. He's worried that he will be rejected, that he won't achieve salvation. And hence the um, the um, insecure sort of um, feel that we get when we reach the volta. He says, then you know he starts to be more calm. He says, then as my soul to heaven takes flight. So he says, so he's acknowledging that his soul will ascend to heaven, um, and this is a lot calmer and more accepting of of the process. And you know we see in the sense that that he is surrendering to his faith, he's submitting to God um, and, and understanding that it will be okay as long as he has faith and he states, so for my sins so as his soul rise, rises to heaven his sins will be cast to hell and he will achieve absolution, he will be absolved of his sins and he will achieve salvation then the rhyming couplet at the end of the poem impute my righteousness um, thus purged of evil 
um, for thus I leave the world, the flesh, the devil. So he's, he's really saying there that um, he is virtuous. He, I, call me virtuous and I will be purged of evil, you know, that my sins will fall. And he's content now that he'll leave the world, um, his flesh, and he will be parted from the devil. There will be no more sin because he will reach eternal salvation. You know, life eternal after death. And, you know, in Death Be Not Proud, he says, it's one short sleep, that moment of death, and then you achieve eternal salvation. So we can tick off his faith in salvation is restored. We can tick off that his final scene is a celebration. Okay, so rather than something that he fears, he, because of his faith, he's able to celebrate the, the, um, the final moments of his life. Now, I've done another tutorial on this in a little bit more detail, so if you found this useful, you can go and find that on my channel.